Moving on to the procedure of towing aircraft, which is a common practice for repositioning large and small aircraft within the airport premises. Larger aircraft are typically towed using a tow tractor, also known as a tug, while smaller ones might be manually pushed by ground personnel. Figure illustrates an example of a tow tractor used in such operations. Towing aircraft involves inherent hazards and if not carried out with due care, it can lead to damage to the aircraft and pose risks to personnel. Therefore, a detailed procedure is outlined to guide this operation. Specific instructions for each aircraft model are emphasized in the manufacturer's maintenance instructions and must be strictly followed. Before initiating the tow, a qualified individual must be present in the flight deck to operate the brakes in case of a tow bar failure. This serves as a safety measure to promptly stop the aircraft, preventing potential damage. There are various tow bars available for general use, designed with sufficient tensile strength to pull most aircraft. Figure provides an example of such a tow bar. It's important to inspect all engaging devices for damage or malfunction before moving the aircraft with the tow bar attached. The attachment of the tow bar varies depending on the type of aircraft. For instance, aircraft with tailwheels are usually towed forward by attaching the tow bar to the main landing gear. In some cases, it may be permissible to tow the aircraft in reverse by attaching the tow bar to the tailwheel axle. When dealing with tailwheel-equipped aircraft, it's crucial to unlock the tailwheel, as failure to do so may result in damage. Aircraft with tricycle landing gear are generally towed forward by attaching the tow bar to the nosewheel axle. They may also be towed forward or backward using a towing bridle or specially designed towing bar attached to the towing lugs on the main landing gear. In such cases, a steering bar is attached to the nose wheel to facilitate steering. Figure illustrates a typical smaller aircraft tow tractor or tug used in these operations. Now let's dive into the detailed towing and parking procedures. Towing and parking procedures. These procedures represent one type of operation and serve as examples not universally suited to every situation. Aircraft ground handling personnel must be well acquainted with the specific procedures applicable to the types of aircraft being towed, adhering to local operation standards governing ground handling. 1. Responsibility of the towing vehicle driver. The driver of the towing vehicle plays a pivotal role in ensuring safe operation. They are responsible for operating the vehicle safely and complying with emergency stop instructions provided by any team member. 2. Assignment of wing walkers. The person in charge designates team personnel as wing walkers. Each wing walker is stationed at a wing tip, positioned to ensure sufficient clearance of any obstructions in the aircraft's path. A tail walker may be assigned for sharp turns or when the aircraft needs to be backed into position. 3. Occupation of the pilot seat. A qualified person occupies the pilot seat of the towed aircraft, observing and operating the brakes as required. When necessary, another qualified person is stationed to monitor and maintain aircraft hydraulic system pressure. 4. Verification of locking scissors. The person in charge verifies that on aircraft with a steerable nose wheel, the locking scissors are set to full swivel for towing. It's essential to reset this locking device after removing the tow bar from the aircraft. Individuals inside the aircraft should refrain from attempting to steer or turn the nose wheel when the tow bar is attached. 5. Safety Precautions Under no circumstances is anyone permitted to walk or ride between the nose wheel of an aircraft and the towing vehicle, nor on the outside of a moving aircraft or towing vehicle. Safety measures prohibit any attempt to board or leave a moving aircraft or towing vehicle. 6. Towing Speed and Engine Operation the towing speed of the aircraft should not exceed that of the walking team members. Aircraft engines are typically not operated during towing into position. 7. Aircraft brake system. The aircraft brake system must be charged before each towing operation. Aircraft with faulty brakes are towed into position only for brake system repair, with personnel ready with chocks for emergency use. Chocks must be immediately available throughout any towing operation. 8. Safety measures during towing operations. Entrance doors should be closed, ladders retracted, and gear down locks installed before towing to avoid potential personal injury and aircraft damage. 9. Tire and landing gear check. Prior to towing any aircraft, a thorough check of all tires and landing gear struts is necessary to ensure proper inflation. 10. Smooth movements. During the movement of aircraft, sudden starts and stops should be avoided. 
Aircraft brakes must never be applied during towing, except upon command by one of the tow team members in an emergency situation. 11. Aircraft parking. Aircraft are parked in specified areas, ensuring adequate distance between rows to allow immediate access for emergency vehicles and free movement of equipment and materials. 12. Wheel chocks. Wheel chocks are placed fore and aft of the main landing gear of the parked aircraft to secure its position. 13. Control locks. Internal or external control locks, gust locks or blocks, are used while the aircraft is parked. 13. Communication with control tower. Before any movement of aircraft across runways or taxiways, contact the airport control tower on the appropriate frequency for clearance to proceed. 15. Static grounding in hangar. An aircraft parked in a hangar must be statically grounded immediately. These detailed procedures provide a comprehensive guide, emphasizing the importance of safety in all ground handling operations. It's crucial to be familiar with the specific requirements for each aircraft type and adhere to manufacturer instructions and local standards.